I am Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to solve trigonometric equations which are given in quadratic form. Here we have an example. Solve the following trigonometric equation for theta belongs to real numbers where tan square theta plus 2.8 tan theta plus 1.96 equals to 0. Remember one thing, when we are given theta belongs to real numbers, we are looking for general solution, right? Now, what we can do here is, we can say that let tan theta be equal to x and then the equation will get transformed to x square plus 2.8x plus 1.96 equals to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation which we can solve using quadratic formula. Well the quadratic formula is x is equals to minus p plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? Now in this, b is 2.8, a is 1 and c is 1.96. Let's substitute the values. So we get minus 2.8 plus minus square root of 2.8 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1.96 divided by 2 times 1. Now we can use the calculator and calculate the answer. So let's find out what the square root term is. So it is 2.8 square minus 4 times 1.96 which is equal to 0. So within the square root we have 0. So we have minus 2.8 divided by 2 which gives us minus 1.4. So that is the answer which we get for x. Now what is x? As you know, we substituted tan x as x. So we get tan theta, rather tan theta as x. So we have tan theta equals to minus 1.4. Now the question is, what angle theta will give us a value of minus 1.4? So what we can do is we can look into the cast rule which is right there before you. So in quadrant say cast rules like this so we say in quadrant 2 and 4 tan theta will be negative right. So it is positive in 1 and 3. So that means we have a solution either in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 4 right. So from here first thing is let's find what theta is and we'll find the reference angle or sometime we refer that as relative acute angle. So the reference angle is theta equals to tan inverse. In that case we don't consider the sign we just consider the value right. So we'll, let's do tan inverse of 1.5. So that gives us value equals to 56.3. So we get 56.3 degrees. So that's the angle. Now this is not the answer. This is just related acute angle. It really means that from horizontal the angle is 56.3 and we are in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 4. So you could make the angle kind of like this, right? So that could be the kind of angle. So here what we know is that this angle is 56.3, the reference angle. So what is the answer? What is the principal angle? So the principal angle is how much? Principal angle should be equal to, so now let's write down theta. Actually I should write some other angle, reference angle, let me call this as R. So theta is 180 minus 56.3 right so we can again use the calculator and use 180 minus 56.3 equals to it gives us 123.7 degrees right so that is the angle now we know for tan time period is pi right or 180 degrees therefore when theta belongs to real number, the answer should be, how should we write the answer? Answer is theta equals to 123.7 degrees plus 
k times 180 right k times 180 degrees where k belongs to integers do you get so all values will be in quadrant 2 and 4 and we can get all our answers so that is the way we have to write our answer when given in degrees well you could also set your calculator to radians find your answer in radians in that case it will be k pi pi times k right to get the same answer but i hope you understand and appreciate what we did here so whenever you have a quadratic equation you could use quadratic formula with simple substitution and then find a general solution as we did Thank you.